Greetings all, this is your lovely host, World Class Jerk, always hoping to bring wisdom and knowledge to the Astroneer community. And today in particular, we're going to be going over the trading platform. The first problem you're going to notice with that sentence is that there is no trading platform. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be doing this in my survival world so that this process is hopefully a lot more relevant to you and how you would do it. Instead of just telling you how to use it, I'm going to give you the whole entire process. As such, this video, naturally, is going to be divided into three different steps. The first step is going to be how to get the resources you need for the trading platform. The second step is going to be how to use the trading platform. And the third step is going to be when to use the trading platform, but we'll get into more of that later. I meant to say we'll get into that more later, but you know what I mean. So the first thing you're going to need for the trade platform is to actually unlock it so that you're able to craft it. This only costs 2500 bytes, shouldn't be a big deal even in the early game as long as you put a little bit of time into it, but here in the late game, if you're in the late game like me, it really isn't a big deal at all, just know that you do need 2500 bytes. Now the trade platform really isn't that big of a thing, you can get it decently early game, so that's why instead of using this giant rocket that you may not have if you're watching this video, we're going to go back to the stone age just for the viewer. And so, like and subscribe for that. Now we're going to start this lovely journey by heading over to Desilo, the moon of the home planet. That is where we're going to find Wolframite, but that is Tungsten once you smelt it. Wolframite and Tungsten are the exact same thing. Now for this gloriously exploitatious strategy, you can land wherever the frick you want. If you have a starter base on any of these planets, that's even more ideal. But if you do not, then what you do is you carry your rocket with you wherever you've got to go so that it supplies you oxygen. Very exploitatious, but also very easy, so how could you ever say no to this? Another thing is that you do not need an oxygenator just to have oxygen from your rocket. So you can leave that one slot empty and just take random things back with you that you want. Doesn't really matter what it is as long as it... What? Uh, I guess I've already been here before. Okay. But again, with that whole persevering for the viewer thing, I'm just going to pretend like I have not been here before and I'm going to do a completely different and completely new tunnel by digging down straight this way. And what you do is you make sure your rocket can stick inside of this tunnel in such a way in such a way that it doesn't come back up. Okay, that took way longer than normal, but for those of you who have an IQ above 40 unlike me, this should work pretty quick, and all you gotta do is just continue this process until you're down in the cave, obviously, then you go find your Wolframite, then you go back to your base and smelt it, and then you've pretty much got a pretty daggum big chunk of the steps left, ready, done, finished, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh! Oh my gosh, guys, I'm openly cheating right now, you can use your freaking ESP wall hacks to just peek straight through the floor sometimes apparently to find you some Wolframite deep down in the caves. This is my favorite. This is the best. I'm king of exploits. Nobody can take the crown from me, especially after this. So slap your tungsten onto your smelter. Now obviously I have RTGs, so this is done for me automatically, but I'm not going to devolve all the way down to small generators just to prove a point. I'm going to devolve only down to a small shuttle with solid fuel thrusters because that really is the only challenge here that's hard to overcome. Also, why is this here? Where'd that come from? It was on this. Why is it over there? Anyways, our next stop will be Glacio because we need iron. Now, unlike that disgusting situation involving our friend Tungsten, it should not be hard for you to get iron at all. You probably don't even need to take your rocket because on Glacio, iron is just dotted all over the surface. It's more common than compound is on the home planet. If you are on Glacio, uh, iron absolutely means nothing at all. So you can just come over here, even turn on your mods because it won't take very much power at all, or time rather. So you can consume all the power you need. Just suck up this iron left and right. This trip doesn't even count if we're going to be honest because it's just too easy. So once you smelt your iron, all that's left is exo chips, and for you early game folks, that's not going to be very hard at all. I will go over the steps, but I'm going to make this very brief because it's extremely simple. First, you find a dynamite, which can be found in caves in some of those storage containers that are broke down and messed up looking. Just pick up the dynamite, take it with you back to your base. Then find an exo cache. Exo chips. And so you see, we have everything we need for a trade platform. Now these last two steps are going to be extremely brief because there's really not a whole lot to cover as far as the trade platform particularly is concerned. Basically you take scrap and then for its value you get a certain amount of anything back for how much scrap you have. Very simple, scrap is basically just a form of currency among items that you can get in the trade platform and I'm pretty sure you can get like all natural resources except for of course astronium and you can't get any gases. 
But yes, basically the entire point of the trade platform. What it allows you to do is get items from other planets. Anyways, yes, it uses scrap, and scrap has gotten with a scrapper, and a scrapper can scrap essentially anything that's been crafted, if not exactly anything that's been crafted. I'm not 100% right off the top of my head. Anyways, you get scrap out of the scrapper, and if you do not know how to make an auto scrapper, I definitely recommend figuring that out. I did make a video on it, that was my last one, but honestly, I recommend you watch anyone else's video on scrapping except for mine, because it was pretty bad. The editing process was extremely... didn't work out the way I wanted it to with that one. Anyways, with a trade platform full of scrap, you can get quite a bit of things. And, basically, the main reason, as I said before, is to get things that aren't on your planet. Let's say that I really want some titanium, which I kind of actually do. Perfect. Two scrap is worth one titanium, which is actually a pretty much a steal, because each scrap, if you use the method I have here with the soil, then that means one soil canister full of soil, that value of soil, is worth a single scrap. So basically that means a titanium is two, two soil canisters full, and that's just, that's ridiculously cheap if we're being honest here. The only downside to a system like that is that it takes time to turn the soil into scrap effectively. However, if you prefer, you can just scrap whatever you find around the environment, but I prefer personally to turn my own stuff into scrap, because that way I can make sure that I will always have what I need. Now, when to use this thing is an entirely separate question. It really does depend on how you do things is what it comes down to, but if you want to gather items in mass bulk, say you want to go to another planet and fill one of these entirely up with lithium or titanium, any of the expensive metals from other planets, if you want to get 32, for example, a larger number, you probably don't want to use the trade platform. Now, if you have an incredibly good soil economy, if you will, if you have a crap ton of soil laying around, if you enjoy gathering soil, then that's definitely the thing for you. But if you're about time efficiency, getting things as fast as possible, use the trade platform only to get things in smaller amounts, probably. And if you want to fill up an entire resource canister, just go get it with your large shuttle. Now, I know this video is a little weird and rushed, but that's how they usually are with me. I'm going to try to get on a better schedule to where they aren't so trash and weird, but I will try to edit this one to make it a little more smooth. But at any rate, I hope you enjoyed it, and definitely be sure to turn into the next one, because I'm improving my audio quality that I figured out sucked in my last one. Unfortunate. Hopefully, over the course of the next few videos, my audio will actually sound not sucky at all, and hopefully, that'll be a good thing for me, because that's not bad. But yes, definitely feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will try to improve the quality of my videos by making a more natural schedule for myself. That would be grand.